goes. I don't know what I like. I don't know if I like them sticking out or if I don't. Which one do you use, like Picasso with a bit of tape? Demon just got out of can. I gave my bro an advance. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Luke and this is LBTV. So we're on to episode three now of uh, building a race car. So in front of me, we've got the Clio again. So I'll tell you the bits we've done so far. Um, of we put the, the wheels on with the tires and we have, uh, so the REO 70 tires with Speedline 8J wheels. And then the back, you've seen, and in the front, we've uh, completely stripped out the Clio. I mean, well, 90% anyway. And then today, we're moving on to something that's got to be done really with these cars and that is to have a a stud conversion done so as you know at the moment in time these have actual bolts so wheel bolts so i've gone ahead and got some um studs from ollie uh who's actually um ollie garris he's called and he's got a sick clear a white one pretty much white and white like mine um i got like inspiration from him as well so we're gonna go ahead and get these done and basically these now I don't know, so this end here needs to be covered in Loctite on the end and then threaded into my stud. There's an Allen key on the end in which we're going to tighten it up with and make sure it's all good and tight. And then the reason being you have these is just because that um, when you're on track and you're changing between, you know, sets of wheels and stuff, this is a lot easier and faster to have these just to gun off a set of nuts instead of taking the bolts out. And it's apparently a lot safer to have these as well instead of having longer wheel bolts in the actual um in the hub so we're gonna go ahead and get them fitted up get these i think from pure motorsport or pure track i, can't, I think it's pure motorsport yeah pure motorsport you can get these from this token version kits so i paid 50 quid for this from ollie i think the kits are usually about 70 or 80 and they do them all different various sizes now the reason being they're in different sizes mine are because we got shorter ones on the front i believe and then longer ones on the rear but as the video goes on i'll explain to you why that is um but first of all let's uh, get it all jacked up and ready to rock so i'm going to do it a bit different today i'm gonna have the, the camera on my head and i'm going to let you guys see me as i'm working on the car and show you guys around right so i can't even remember what size socket i think these are 17 so where is the 17 mil socket there it is big thanks to george for letting me use his uh his toolkit today because my Unfortunately, my £10, £15 helvers kit is not going to cover this one. And then I need a... Has he got a breaker bar in here? No, he doesn't. Well, we're going to have to use the old trusty torque wrench. I don't really like doing this. I can't do bolts with uh, the torque wrenches, but hey-ho. Right, so first thing first, let's crack these wheel nuts. Done. Okay, so now that's all done. Um, I've got to jack the car up. Now, I just paid in my mind that with these um, studic stud conversions, they do sometimes stick out the actual the actual holes, and it's reminded me of this like scrap heap challenge. Do you remember scrap heap challenge when they basically just um, you know those bits that came out the side of their cars or side of the wheels, and it used to smash up the other ones, like the other little battle machine things. That's what, that's what reminds me of when, you know, you've got studs sticking out. I don't know, I don't know why that came to my mind. But... Actually, I was wrong. It wasn't Scrappy Challenge. It was Robot Wars. I don't know how I got that wrong. Scrappy Challenge is when they just get pieces of crap and just build it into something good and then, like, see if they can win the challenges. I don't know how I completely messed that up then. But, yeah, Robot Wars. If you remember Robot Wars, they'd have little bits, like, sticking out the wheels, like, to, like, out here or whatever. And they'd smash up the other, like, these robots as they're, like, attacking each other. That's what this literally reminds me of. You know, I'll show you guys exactly what I mean after doing this. Nice and easy to jack up, isn't they? Up she goes. Good thing with these, they're so light as well. I'll probably jack this up in the front. Yeah, I don't even think I'm going to need actual stands, am I? I could just do the front. I could just do the front and rear at the same time. But I don't know if I trust this jack, so I'm probably going to use actual stands anyway. Right, so I got the front jacked up. I just did the two fronts. I could have had probably this one up as well if i wanted to i did test it but i thought there's no point in doing that i might as well get all four in there and have more actual stands so do the two fronts first and then we can move on to the two rears i can sort of explain to you what's um what's the difference in having different size stud lengths for the front and the rear because there is a difference so i'll go ahead now wipe the head cam on and let's get into it and get our hands on a bit more hands on deck with uh doing a stud conversion eh let's get on out 
I'm gonna try and like not get too close, otherwise you guys ain't gonna be able to see what's going on. I just wanna show you guys how these look. Um, that's, that's how one is. Compared to the new ones in here, you can see the difference is like mega. So, I mean, they're gonna strip out, they're gonna stick out a little bit. Let me just whip one of these out quickly, out of the bag. It would be like that. So that's how much it's gonna stick out by. It's gonna be a bit more than, you know, than the usual, but it's gonna look cool in a way. It's gonna look more race car in it. So let's put the rest of these wheel bolts out first. It's gonna be so much easier just to take the studs out, like the, the, the nuts on the threads. So you see at the minute, these are getting stuck in there. Whereas if they was on the thread, it would push the bolt, the, the nut all the way um, out. So then I wouldn't have this problem. And then we'll have the spacer in behind it. So we're gonna have to take that off as well. So let me just place this to the side. Now we can get in and have a good look around. So I don't think this space is gonna come off that easy. No, it's not. So what I need to do is actually get these spaces off and you get someone in behind there, like a flathead, hammer it, and then um, come back to it once we've got this off. I'll tell you what, these spaces are playing hard to get. Look at this. I'm having to like basically, whereas I've been using this and a hammer to like chisel it out, but that's as far as we're, we're actually getting so far. It's like this. We got it off but it is looking pretty grim um as you can see this is going to definitely all need a good wire brush i'm just going to grab the wire brush give it a clean up and then we can get to head well get a get head and basically whack these studs in so it should be pretty simple so you just screw in like so but um we'll come to that in a second right so we've got a wire brush but this is really i mean this is more of a flipping toothbrush that george has given me to be honest with you so we're just gonna go ahead and clean up as much as we possibly can I mean, it's not going to do a lot. I'm not going to have to wipe a lot down there. So grab ourselves the Loctite and uh, and this shouldn't take too long. I mean, I'm going to need a, because you'll be able to see that on the end of them, they've actually got like an Allen key uh, bit. So I'm going to put them in as far as I can with the Loctite and then I'll go ahead to the toolbox, pick up the Allen key bit and um, don't go crazy tight of them. Just go, you know, normal. I mean, you want to go tight, but not crazy tight because the Loctite will do the job anyway by uh, obviously doing what it says, locking it in nice and tight. So I'm guessing this it just comes out and then you just ah oh, yeah it goes on like a pace like that i'm going to put quite a fair bit on everyone says don't put a lot on luke but i mean when you're holding on when you've got wheel bolts holding on your the wheels of the car you don't want these coming off like you really don't so i mean that'll do for the minute and then we'll just get each one and put it in hand tight like so and that's how they go in and that is like how they look so yeah that looks pretty cool i'm gonna get the rest of them in come back show you guys and then we'll once they're in hand tight i'll um do them with the allen key and show you guys that part might get george in a minute just to hold the actual um brake pedal so i can go a bit tighter when i'm actually doing these george hey can you uh quickly put the foot brake on for me please put your foot on the brake please just so i can quickly um tighten these up a little bit more all good okay so that's tight Okay, that's tight. Cool, you can have the brakes, all good. Thank you. Right, let me just put the camera off my head and have a look at them side on. So let's have a look at these side on. You can see they're literally like identical. So that's exactly what we want. So that one is all done. You're supposed to let these cure for about two hours. So I'm not gonna drive this car anyway now, probably until tomorrow anyway. So it'll be good. A good decent amount of time for the Loctite to cure and it'll be good. Anyway, I'm gonna bash these out, uh, put the wheel back on. I'm gonna actually put the wheel back on quickly without the spacer and uh, see what this looks like. Let's just grab the wheel. Still got a wheel nut in there for Christ's sake. Very intrigued to see how these look with the actual studs sticking out. It should be interesting. <laughs> to be fair, you know, that's actually not too bad for how much they stick out. In a way, I kind of like that, that they stick out like that because it does give it a bit more of that race car look. You know, I might actually keep it. And again, it'd be interesting to see what it looks like with this on. There you go, you can't really see them. I don't know what I like. I don't know if I like them sticking out or if I don't. Oh, this is gonna bug me now. What do I decide? I decided to go against it and keep the spaces. I think I like, you know, I like being a bit of a stancy, but not a stancy boy, but I like things coming out and looking, you know, like real nice i think the wheels get lost 
if these didn't have spaces on. Especially on a rear, it would literally be a nightmare. I'm gonna keep it like this for now, um, with the wheel on. Got to tighten them all up afterwards, but as you can see, it comes out a lot nicer. I need to keep it like that. So now you can see here, we've got the studs sticking out and then on here, you can actually see them. So yeah, doing good. Anyway, I'm gonna crack on, do the rest of them because actually do the other front and then we'll go to the rear and I'll show you the difference as to why um, they're actually smaller. Um, no, they're long. I think it's they're longer on the rear or they're smaller on the rear. I can't remember, but um, I'll explain to you the reason why in a minute because everything's all connected and I'll show you. But I'll bash out the front, other front one, and then we can get onto the res. Okay, guys, so the stud conversion kit's done on the front. Um, I'm like I said, I'm going to leave the spaces on because it looks really, really nice. But guess who's turned up? Josh. So if you remember, I said about Josh the other day in my last video, I think it was my last video, the number plates, yeah. Um, I actually got him to come down today and uh, so we can have a good look at his car. So it's a factory cup. Um, but he's got a few little extras in his compared to mine. Obviously, he's got the Recaro seats, which these are now fetching so much money. And Josh's are in extremely good condition as well. He's got the yellow seat belts, which I actually really like a lot. And then the yellow accents going across here on the steering wheel, which is um, a custom trim steering wheel as well. A nice bit of carbon. Josh loves his carbon. I love my carbon, but I haven't started doing any carbon bits this yet. So got a bit of carbon there around the air vents on the center dash. And a uh, door handle. I actually think the door handles look really cool. But, um, Josh definitely spent a lot of money on this, and there's more bits coming as well in the future. So stay tuned and check out his Instagram. I'll leave it in the description down below if you want to keep an eye on Josh's build. Um, he's got a, like a nice mat in the back here. I think the Recaros, the back of them, look absolutely incredible when you look at it from this, especially when you know he's finished with this. It's going to look awesome. Yeah, what do you reckon I should do? Should I get black wheels or should I keep my whites? I don't know what should I do. Josh's looks really nice here, the black wheels. But then once mine's lowered, I think the white's going to look really good. So drop us comments down below. Let me know what you think. Um, there's a lot of bits on here that I want done that Josh has had done on his, but I want done on my car. So it's a good thing that he's local and we can get a few bits done together. He's even got the black headlights. I want these so bad. And he got them really cheap as well. Cheeky. How much did you pay for them again? A tenner. I can't find any less, like, than less than like, 200 quid at the minute. It's a joke. But yeah, definitely looks really good, guys, so check it out. Anyway, let's crack on with the rears. Okay, so we're on to one of the rear ones now. I'm just going to show you guys the difference. Um, so you see this little flange bit, I guess, here. Um, before, on the other one, on the fronts, they actually go all the way in. So the actual flange bit goes past. And if I do this up quickly, just for a quick demonstration, the flange actually goes in um so the flange actually goes in the hole whereas on the rears they don't they stick out right there so um this is why these actually come out a little bit more so this is why these have to be reduced in size so i think the fronts are like 90 and these are about 86 or a couple mil shorter just so they don't stick out so i'm gonna go ahead and whack all of these on with the loctite get this off now because i've actually got that on and then i'll come back and uh end off the video with you guys because I've had a few people turn up and I've actually to be fair actually no that's a lie I need to put the pinstripe on as well there we go the rears are all on now got a bit of overhang from the uh blue lock type but that's fine but you know it's always better to have more lock type than not enough and um they're all properly lined up so that's all done I think we're gonna whack the wheel on and then start with the pinstripe right we've got the boys there Sam's rolled up in fab wagon and then Josh is just chilling here as well. Right, which one are you? Is that Picasso with a bit of tape? It's not you. Go on. Nah, not Josh, it's definitely oh, you. George did it. No. Okay, so it's getting late now. Um, I've just actually gone ahead and put it on. What do you reckon? The pinstripe looks really good, actually. I could actually go up to a six mil in the future, which I might do to just look a bit fit, thicker down there. But from a distance, um, the white pinstripe on the bottom around the mouth bit looks really cool. I like that. And Josh is over there doing his now. But um, I'm gonna wrap this video up in here anyway, guys, because I am shattered and that is the side conversion done. Done and dusted, that's episode three done. Um, episode four is where the big parts start coming in and getting done, so I'm excited for that. Not saying this isn't a big part because it's helpful and it's definitely gonna benefit me in the future for when I'm changing over wheels and stuff. So it's nice to have the side conversion kit done. Anyway, thanks for watching today's video, guys. If you've enjoyed it, slap the like button and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Um, hit the bell button as well to be notified every single time I upload. And just check out all the links in the description down below for everyone who's involved today uh, from where I got the products from. Well, Ollie sold them to me, but I know where the actual product come from anyway, so it's fine. But anyway, yeah, I'll catch you on next video, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.